Generic greetings and welcome to Plain Mechanic Simulator. Today's beverage is a fairly mediocre cup of green tea and it's only mediocre because of how tepid it is but we'll power through nonetheless. So this is a game where you will be investigating, repairing and generally messing around with planes. Specifically three planes. We have the de Havilland Tiger Moth which is what's been shown in the background there. The de Havilland Mosquito or Mozzie and finally the Supermarine Spitfire. I believe it's just the Mark 1. And you are given tasks to repair things or undertake certain jobs on that aircraft so it could be something very specific like replace the spark plugs and change the oil that's fairly simple or it could be very vague uh, things like um, the pilot saying they came into land and it wasn't exactly as smooth as they could have made it and there was a bit of a crunch in our pulse to the right and you have to investigate and figure out why and replace and repair parts it's very similar in scope and idea to the other mechanic simulator games so car train uh, intergalactic dreadnought mole machine simulator all those ones there's many many of them and i've played quite a few of them as well I've only played about an hour of this game so far, but from what I've seen, I like the detail that's been put into the aircraft, even though there's only three that might, might put people off, but I think the detail does make it. And um, also, there's been a couple of tweaks and changes from the typical formula that I quite like, so I'll show you that as we progress into it. Let's just go to game, and we will crack on. So we are uh, Fixington uh, as an uh, RAF ground crew, and we have to do some jobs on a plane. As I said, only three planes. For the time being, I'm hopeful, well, I'm, I'm hoping uh, that they will be adding some more planes but we'll have to see how that one goes so we have a job so aircraft tiger moth serial b-2030 uh pilot was mark whitman and we are fixington so right after takeoff we were hit by a bird well that's unlucky uh, luckily we were able to land safely please fix the damage and check the compression legs the landing was quite rough so we have to replace the front windscreen replace the propeller and replace the compression legs so if we have a look at this plane we can see that the propeller is ooh not great we can press space and spin it around if we really want to but quite frankly I think we just remove that so we're going to click on that and we will now have to move around and you can uh, use your middle mouse to recenter the camera and we need to remove the propeller so if you click on the propeller you can see that um, well hold on there it uh, makes this go red bis he says this has to be removed first so in other simulator games the majority of them you have to sort of click and hold but this one you don't you just click and then it removes it and I do like that same as when you have to remove this these bolts here you can just do that and then you can leave it so no more holding down left mouse and then having to upgrade for speed and things like that if I zoom in, you can see the sort of detail that's been uh, put into this one. And it's certainly not a bad looking game. There we go. That's getting removed now. And we need to replace that. So we'll... Uh press uh, right click and then we'll go and buy another bit so I'll go over to here and broken parts and we can see there's a propeller there and we need to sign for it so um, that's the closest we can make that and then we will fix this on so we'll go over to addition mode and then we'll put the propeller on much better and then the plate and then all of those there you are so as you progress on you'll be doing this sort of thing but you can mess it up as well and uh, there are consequences to that so let's just put the uh, nose cone on there and then job done when it comes to this sort of thing aircraft and planes i am not knowledgeable at all so i have no idea if that's the right color for this good grief that sun is bright <laughs> <laughs> you can see we're on some sort of airfield with little barrage balloons all over the place and things like that and uh, yeah um, yeah, as I said, I'm not knowledgeable about uh, these sort of things, so if that's this slightly wrong coloured wire, uh, yeah, I, I really don't know. Um, nor do I really care that much, quite frankly. So what else was it? It was the, um, I believe it was the uh, front windscreen and the compression leg. So front windscreen, you can see is, oh yeah, that's all kinds of cracked. So we'll go back here, and someone just dropped a spanner somewhere. I will say remove, and can I jump on top of the, this bit here I don't think I can oh no well, there we go let's just remove all of these and we should probably have a look at the uh, have a look at the cockpit while we are here um, yeah, look at all the dials pretty good nice and oh you can actually see a bit of blood on the front there because that's um yeah that's where the bird hit it um some parts can be repaired so we can go over to the workbench here and we can repair that but obviously a windscreen at that no you can't repair it it's just we need another one so there we go, and we will install that, and then we have the task of uh, checking the undercarriage, so uh, that goes on there, and again, as I said, you can just uh, place them on like that and then uh, sort of wait for it to complete. I, you can right click and just go off it, and you can hear it screwing in there, but I don't know if that is a, I don't know if that's a problem. Um, seems to be attached okay. 
You can zoom quite far in and press F to zoom in even further. So, there's that done. Um, the the undercarriage, we need to check that, I believe. It says uh, compression legs. Okay, so we will go to mode 3, and this allows us to do like a sort of um, component test. So we're going to check the wheels and all of this, and we can see that, yeah, these are indeed a bit broke. So we need to replace those. So what we'll do is we'll go and pick up the jack, which is over here. And we'll pick that up, and then we'll place it underneath the plane, and then we will uh, wind this up. And then it'll just take up the strain. And that's off the ground a bit. There we go. That should do us quite nicely. So removal of parts. We can't just pull the wheel off. We have to take the hub off. And it's very difficult to see, but it's uh, the screws are highlighted in um, in orange there. Again, you can see how far you can zoom in there <laughs> and how tiny these little parts are. And then we need to remove that. Actually, I'm saying I need to remove that. I assume I needed to remove that. Um, I'll try and remove it without, but I believe we needed to remove the wheel. Uh, oh no, we didn't need to remove the wheel. Okay, so that was a bit of a pointless exercise. I will you now install that wheel once again, because we might as well. And then the cap, and then one, two, three, four, five. And it is sequential, so I f there was one task that I was uh, working on, it was the engine, and um, I was taking all of the bolts out of the... Um, out of the, the the head of it. And I think there's about 20 bolts and it's just sat there for ages. <laughs> uh, are we still crouched? We are, okay. Right, so we go over here and there's no parts to restore. I was going to check to see if we could re restore the parts, but we can't. We just have to buy some new ones, which is fairly understandable. So we need right and left compression legs. So we'll say yes, we'll select both of those and then we'll sign for it. And there we are. And then go over to install and then Put that leg on there. One, two, three. And wait for that to complete. And then over here. Uh, one. And then one, two, three. And that is now complete. According to that. So we'll check our requirements. We can see all primary tasks complete. Uh, that should be it. So we will sign. And that should be us done. So, replace front windscreen, yes. Replace the propeller, yes. Place compression legs and final results, perfect job. And you can see that our merit points goes up and eventually we'll, um, we'll be able to, uh, well, go to a different rank. Which should hopefully allow us access to different planes and things like that. Uh, and maybe different tools and equipment. So, this is another one, still back on the Tiger Moth. Uh, please check all filters while preparing the aircraft. So check oil filter, check the fuel filter, and refuel the aircraft. Okay, that's understandable. So we need to check all of these. So if we take the side cowling off here, we turn these two little retaining pins, and then we'll go into there, and we can see we've got the oil filter up there. So we'll go for number three, and we can see that that is actually fine. Uh, pressure filter is... Ah, pressure filter is no more. It is damaged because it is red, so that's not good. So we need to replace that. So if we go to remove and click on that, we need to remove that, which means we need to remove this. So let's just start ripping all of these out. Um, I think we need... To, yeah, we need to uh, take that entire top off. So we'll just open this up. One, two. It's very easy to navigate around here. There we go. And then there should be four bolts. One, two, three, four. And that'll take the top of that, which will expose the uh, the entire engine there. And there you go. As I said, fairly detailed in there. So we need to remove the oil filter, I believe, to get to that. So that is now removed. And then this thing here. You can see how far I can zoom in. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, what else did I need to check? It says... Oil filter, fuel filter, fuel filter. I don't know where the fuel filter is in this thing. Um, ah, it'll be that thing there then. Okay. It looks a bit cruddy, but it might just be the material. But we'll go to three, and we can see that it is in fact damaged. So that's okay. We've checked that, so we'll just remove that thing then. And there it goes. It's now removed. So we need to either repair or replace them. Okay, so we'll go over to our repair bench and see if we can do that. Okay. So it looks like we can try and repair these. So the way you try and repair them is you have essentially this oiler and you have to oil four points on the uh, device. Now you 
when you do this, so I'm going to click on that one here, you can see we've got this the gauge. You press and hold left, and as long as you let go in the green area, it's successful. You need to do a total of three of these successfully out of the four. Um, and some of them are harder than others like that. So I've already completed that, and there we go. I failed that last one, but I did manage to restore that part, so that's good. Um, and I, I'm guessing, perhaps wrongly, that you gain um, a bonus for basically not spending... Uh, you, there's no such thing as money. You don't have to buy these parts. You know, if you're not taken out of your own uh, business. I think that was correct. Yeah, we managed to get that done. Um, so you know, if you just bought them, then uh, obviously that's a bit wasteful. If you could, if they could have been repaired, and I think you gain a bonus at the end. So there's that now installed. I think we can actually repair the other one. Uh, sorry, replace the other one from here. There we go. And putting that back in there, and that's the filters in. So just the oil filter back on there. And we can put the top cowling on. One, two, three, four. And the other task is to a bit basically just fuel it up, I think. But I'm going to double check first. It is, yes, refuel the aircraft. Okay. So we do not have to change the oil. We'll put that pin in there. Close the cowling, turn those. Nice. The, uh, the not having to hold is good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Also, the way you remove parts, um, or rather install them, instead of having to go through an inventory and select the part or and having to put them in the right order and remembering that order, it it basically just shows you how to do it and, and just puts them on itself. So I like the fact that they've removed the whole inventory thing. So we need to refuel this thing. So we're going to get this ladder. We'll bring it over and then we'll dump it down there. We will go up the top and you can see there's a cap on the top there, which we will select remove and it will unscrew that. We can just let it do that. And then we've got our tanker over here. So we will uh, pick this up, go up the ladder, drop it in the top. And you can see the arm, sort of the boom arm comes out there. And then we just sort of go on and wait for that to the right to be filled and then turn it back off. And then that's us. So we can uh, pick that up. All primary tasks are now complete. Put that back and then that will close and then auto magically drive off. It says speed limit on there as well. And there it goes. Bye. Uh, you can't go any further out like we can't like check over the wall to see what they're doing um yeah you get basically this that's all you get well i didn't realize you could go this far anyway so we have i believe completed that task now so we'll pick the ladder up put it there not that we have to but we can and i think that is it sign here to complete it um oh all aircraft parts need to be installed i forgot to put the uh the cap on didn't i one second. I'm not trying to keep climbing that ladder rather than um, and, uh, moving it. So we'll go over to install. And. <laughs> I like that noise. And there we go. That should be now completed, I believe. Sorted. Right. So oil filter, fuel filter, fuel the aircraft. Saved spare parts too, so we gain a bonus for that. Perfect job, and there we go. So we'll do another one. Um, I believe the missions are set, and I think there's um, about 80 missions in total. So, still back on the Tiger Moth. Uh, we've put the aircraft through some hard manoeuvres. Please check the piston... Uh, pistons and rings to make sure they're all fine. Check pistons and rings. Okay. Good way to get access to the pistons is to remove the entire cylinder assemblies. Do this. Uh, press and hold the left mouse button on the assembly for about a second and then remove all highlighted screws. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the tip thing. So we will go over here and we'll see what we can do. I'm going to spin that propeller just a bit so we can uh, get access to this as we go. So, take that off. Uh, cylinder assembly. So, you can see we need to take the bottom off. Okay. So, I will do just that. So, uh, in order to do that, we need to open that. So, one, two. And then the bottom engine cover here. Or the cowling. Whatever you want to call it. A lot of little screws in there. Look at the detail. Even just in the welds. <laughs> nice. Right. So, the entire assembly... Um, can we do that? Is that what we want to do? Is that what we want to do? Uh, remove the entire cylinder assemblies. Okay. Cylinder block assembly. Okay, so we need to remove that. Two rods, by the look of it. 
Aha, uh -huh. and there we go. So we can remove the entire thing. Rather than having to take it apart sequentially, we can just rip the entire thing out. <laughs> and that should be removed shortly. And is it just going to drop out? Yes, it is. Right, okay. So, continue on with that one. I wonder if I can just order all of these to be removed. Um, no, sir. No, sir. <laughs> Guess we can't do that. How do we move the lot then? Hang on. We have a problem. It's not going to remove that part now, is it? <laughs> I might have to install it and then remove it. Because I cancelled off it, I think. I say there's a lot of details simply put into that engine there. There we go. And that one. So I don't know how we're going to uh, fix that. Will we have to then take it to the bench? I'm guessing so. Hang on. Why is that being removed? Have I removed the right component? I hope so. We'll soon find out. Uh, okay. Ah. Exhaust pipe. Okay. Cool, planes flying fast. Um, so there must be one screw that I'm missing. Can't see it. What I'll do then, I'll go to install instead. And put it back together. <laughs> and then remove. And now it should come off. He says, without any degree of confidence. Yeah, okay. We're, we're sound, we're sound. Okay, right. So we'll go up to the bench and we'll see what we can do. Uh, hang on. Uh, inventory. Um, we can see... These are fine, fine, fine. All left, they're okay. Um, so what about the rest of it? Check the pistons and rings. So how would we do that then? If I've not got it in my inventory... They're all fine. Not repairable. Hmm. I am at a loss. We don't need to replace any parts. Or is it... Ah! Oh, my mistake. We can check here. Right. That's correct. Good job I'm not a real mechanic, because otherwise this thing would be going nowhere, or would be going somewhere, and then heading out of the sky into the ground very fast. Um, so we've got one piston that is damaged. Um, how would we... Well, we can just remove that then. Um, I'll need to take the rings. Hang on. No. Individual rings, where do we have to check? Damaged. 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 Okay. That's understandable. Um, this is why there's a zoom in function. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. The fact that there's wear on one part of it is not encouraging at all. <laughs> That's damaged. That's damaged, and that's damaged. Okay, so that piston is fine, but the rings are um, not, and the one on the left is just totally gone. So we'll remove the uh, we'll remove the piston ring. There we go. We will recenter over the. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. And there we go. So that one, that one, that one. Fiddly job here, fiddly job, and. 
There we go. Right. So that should be it. Um, I don't think we'll be able to repair these, but we will give it a go. And no, we cannot. That's totally understandable. Um, so we will just say them and them. It, it already puts the counts in there. So we'll sign for that. Requisition. And then go to install. So piston. And there we are. And the rings. And we'll do the same over here. One, two, three. And that should be it. So that will go back up and connect up. And then we'll just put the engine back together. Um, I would have assumed we'd have to drain it. <laughs> so maybe we have to uh, fill the oil back up. Either way. Hopefully that's a good job jobbed. As I said, the little tweaks that they've made just seems to improve the formula. It seems less fiddly and more about sort of looking at the, the detail of it, which I appreciate. There's also another game um, that's like tank mechanic, and it's going to be like salvaging tanks and, and fixing them up, and that's the one I'm really excited for. So, let's put all those in there. No particular order that I've installed those in them bolts. So there we go. You can hear that getting installed there. I'm dreading having to like tape the engine out. That would just be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Be a bit better with the <laughs> the rest of it installed. There we go. And just a couple more parts, and then we'll be sorted. I think. Sounds like there's another uh, couple of planes flying by over there. I think they're all the same planes, actually. Sounds Merlin-ish, that engine there. <laughs> um, I'm sure there's a bit we've... Have I put this part on? Uh, we'll find out. As I said, the game does hold your hand. Um, it does hold your hand and tell you like what you need to do and what you've messed up on, which is pretty good. Um, so... Tasks, done, and refuel. Okay, so we'll just simply refuel it. This, by the way, is your little... Um, oil, what's it called, Bowser, and yeah, you'll basically just, you can press space and then you drag it over to where you need it. <laughs> right, so pick the ladder up and then we'll do this. I have found that when a lot of the tasks are like this, which is, um, you know, just refuel it, it's a bit tedious to have to refuel it all the time. But it's not a massive complaint. There we go. And then on off job done and then take that we will install oh no that's the wrong one hose physics are good it's not clipping through anything which is always an advantage there we go then we'll install fuel cap <laughs> and we'll get the squeak there we go and that should be us I think yeah, I think that's about right. Right, so let's see what we've got. It is perfect job. Cool. But there you go. That's the that's basically the moment to moment of the game. Uh, you'll be going through, you'll be doing all of that, and then we'll get some more planes. It's the other planes, the other two planes that I'm um, quite excited for. Uh, what's have this? Sometimes, oh, this has a time limit, so we have five minutes to do it. Um... You can recognise them by a small stopwatch at the top right of the corner. You fail to complete the job within specified time. Your pilot will miss the next mission, which will harm our chances of promotion. And uh, not to mention the war effort. So, while I was starting the engine up, I noticed the, that there is... Uh, what's that the engine? I noticed it doesn't react when I switch the left magneto off. Make sure it's fixed by 12 o'clock. Fix the problem with the left side. Okay, I think we will accept this, so... Um, let's go. So... We need to have a look at that then. So left side uh, with the magneto is just about there. And we can see we'll go to inspection. And it is 
not good. So we need to remove that. And it's now removed. Got the screws. It comes out there. We should probably be able to fix that, I think. Just a bit of oil. Why not? And yes, we can. So we need to oil that there. Look at the detail on that part. Very, very nice. Um... I mean, I'm not too sure how accurate that would be to real life, but, you know, the in-game detail is nice. And shiny, good grief. And where's the other bit here? I can't say whether oiling would uh, fix that this issue, but, um, you know, it's what we've been given. And there we are, it's in. And the advantage is that, yeah, there you go, it's... Um, it's basically just said, we're done. So we don't have to second guess our work. And, um... That didn't take long, did <laughs> That didn't take long at all. Um... <laughs> perfect job. But there you go. That is a bit of Play Mechanic Simulator. I think it's certainly one of the better me um, mechanic simulators that you get. This is replace all worn parts. I'm not going to do this one. Yeah, I think the little tweaks and changes that have been made, um, is... Of, I think it's to its advantage, certainly. Um, repairing the thing, like a nice little mini game, but not too taxing. It's certainly not like a percentage chance where it's a gamble. Um, not having to buy the part is good. Just things like clicking on the all of the bolts and, and what unscrews, and it's just removing them without having to hold, I think is just, yeah, it, it takes a lot of the, um, <laughs> quite frankly, the finger strain out of it. Um, and also, when you're removing and adding parts, it's very it holds your hand quite a bit. So it's less about remembering exactly what which parts go where, rather. But it's rather you know more of a like a tour of um, this thing. And you'll still learn where things go. You just don't have to, because I found a lot of the time, if for, for example, there's a tr the train mechanic simulator. Um, uh, the um, I would take apart an engine and it would just to reassemble it could be a bit of a nightmare if you didn't remember it then basically it's trial and error you take a part put it on can you do the next one and you know i just think this is a better way of doing it and i like the bits where you know you're actually uh, moving uh, the tools around so you've got like the uh the bowser the, the you know the ladder and the jack and we've got you know this one up here because you know you, you can <laughs> jack the plane up there and um yeah i'm looking forward to trying uh well getting to the other planes basically and uh, seeing what those are like. Either way, uh, if you like what you see, then by all means check the link out in the description. And uh, you can check the game out for yourself. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.